Welcome to this video walkthrough of our Normandy holiday caravan. It's a, it is a Normandy, the manufacturer. It's a little bit of a lesser known make, um, but uh, we had a look at this one on site and had a look around it. And even though it is a lesser known make, I uh, thought it was a tidy caravan and um, didn't think there was any reason not to go ahead with it. So as you'll see as you walk around, it's quite nice, got a nice layout. Um, so we're going to have a look around, look at the layout condition, things like that. It's from 2010, uh, it's a 37 by 12 three bed. It's got double glazing, gas central heating and it's priced at $17,995. So as I say, going to have a quick wander around here and see what it's all about. So the front end here you can see we've got a gas fire and then we've got a, a TV unit over in the corner with um, obviously top there as well as a couple of doors below and a couple of shelves. little cupboard unit in the corner there as well. Big front windows uh, in the lounge here, and then you've got one on the uh, non-door side, on the off side there as well. thing with this van, it's got one exterior door, but that exterior door is in fact sliding patio door, uh, which is on the right-hand side. Um, so no door other than that, just a sliding patio door, but it's a big opening, front, uh, big opening side patio door there, which is nice. You can see we've got this fitted wraparound sofa area here, which uh, condition of the upholstery is all pretty good. There's no bad rips or stains or anything like that to tell you about. Nice back cushions, um, all quite thick. Um, so it's seating for one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, four, five, six people, um, I would say. So that's all quite nice, as you can see. So turning opposite the seating area, like I say, is the gas fire little mirrored shelving unit there and then your um, TV area in the corner. Just scanning back across then you can see our dining table and six chairs. The dining table top has delaminated so you can see here just the wood below it. Um, this could be painted um, or we could remove the top there and put a different top on if need be um, depending on what you'd like. Big, big, big patio sliding doors. You can see much bigger than a standard uh, door for a caravan and then you've got those sliding Venetian blinds on there as well. Turning then towards our kitchen, you can see we've got a gas oven and hob. And then we have a fridge with ice box there. So good, very good sized fridge and then the ice box above. Um, so no te technically no freezer as such, but um, there's probably class as a little freezer on the top there. But um, it's not a, a big fridge freezer as such. It's just more of a large fridge. Um, having said that, you could remove the shelf above it and you could fit a taller fridge freezer in there if you wanted to. Uh, cupboards are all quite nice obviously they're sort of an ivory cream whitey color um, and then you've got your kind of beach style um, worktops so just trying to give you a sort of scan around there from uh, there across so there's the gas fire in the living area there and then we've got a gas radiator where I'm stood <clears throat> so turning then from the dining area and looking down the hallway We've got a door on the left hand side, which is where we find our Comi boiler, so Worcester 24i Junior. It does our central heating and our hot water. And then walking down our hallway, unusually, because a lot of caravans, you'd find your main bedroom at the back. But this one actually, in fact, has your main bedroom to the left hand side here. It's the first door you get to through the hallway. And this is the main bedroom here. Good storage over the bed. Nice dark wood headboard there with bedside tables and then good wardrobe storage to the side there. The black tape is just keeping the door shut when it was delivered. You've got a radiator there underneath the window. It is a bit of a gloomy day to be honest with you, so if the video is appearing a bit dark, it's uh, it's quite a gloomy day here um, and it's about 9am. Um, so it's just that we're not getting a huge amount of natural light coming in at this time of day. Um, walking down the hallway, we have got a hallway window there as well as a radiator. So the next left, next turning we find, uh, next door, sorry, on our left hand side is one of the twin rooms. So you can see we've got two twin beds there, two singles. Um, not sure on the size of those, two foot sixes or two foot threes. Um, and then you've got good wardrobe storage. A lot of twin rooms would have one of those doors for storage, but this does in fact have the double doors giving a good amount of wardrobe storage in there. And we have a gas radiator tucked in behind the door as well. So that's one of our twin rooms. And then we get to the back here and you've got a sort of left-hand turn in the corridor. And then we've got our other twin bedroom, as you can see, which has a single wardrobe door, but it is a larger single wardrobe door than some. So it's fairly decent storage still in here, really. 
and then you've got plenty of cupboard space above and then obviously a gas radiator as well so that's our second twin room backing out of there we've then got our family bathroom on the rear of the caravan which has a really good sized shower it's got one of those sliding um sort of set half circle um, or quarter circle uh, doors there not really sure what the technical term for that is that's probably um made me look a bit silly but uh either way it's a shower and it's got sliding doors that slide back um so that's quite a nice size shower there and then we've got the standard toilet and sink here so i think a bit unusual in a way because usually you'd come into a caravan and you to find your hallway going down the middle of the caravan with bedrooms off each side but because this hallway runs down the side of the caravan i think you find you, you actually end up with um, bigger bedrooms at the back here um, which is quite nice Coming back up to the living room area then um, and having a look at the kitchen, dining, living area um, and then we're going to hop outside and look at the outside of it. This is the outside of the Normandy holiday caravan. I'm just stood here really to highlight the size of this patio door to be honest that um, obviously it's a sliding patio door that is our main way in and out um, but it's kind of about twice as big an opening as you get a standard door. Panels on the outside are all alright, the signs on here to be, to be honest are pretty awful. I think there's sort of a sticky sign that's been put on behind some plastic, um, which over time has gone a bit rubbish. So the signs aren't brilliant, but uh, what well, doesn't make much difference what the sign looks like, I suppose. Um, walking down the back of the caravan then, um, it needs a wash, it only just come in, um, needs a good wash off. Um, the back, there's actually an access panel for the back of the shower so that you can get to the shower and uh, do the draining um, mix the taps and stuff on there so um, which is quite funny because you've got the ensuite shower oh, it's not ensuite shower but sorry bathroom shower at the back of the caravan and that's the access to the back of the shower it is dirty as you can see but um, just looking over here you've got a little bit of dent on the back here with a couple of holes where probably regulators been or something it's just need filling in um, but everything's going to look much nicer with a wash off got downpipe missing there They've got three downpipes on, need one more. It's got proper domestic style guttering and downpipes, which is good. Easier to keep them clear. And then coming across the front, then you've got the same style sign on the front there as you do on the side that I mentioned. A bit of guttering missing on the end there. So that is our Normandy holiday caravan. Just show you the chassis. Pretty standard painted chassis which looks like someone's been greasing up at some point so um, it's been kept all right condition really um, so not really anything to worry about there I don't think but um, so that's the Normandy holiday caravan as I say it's a 37 by 12 three bed it's got double glazing it's got gas central heating and it's priced at 17995 if you've got any questions at all please let us know